and family so today's video is going to be all about baby led weaning so if you're not familiar with baby led weaning basically you feed your baby everything that you are eating and you skip spoon feeding them traditional baby pureed foods so i don't want to talk your guys' ear off with a bunch of like info and research because i know you guys came here to see baby led weaning meals so down below in the description i will leave a bunch of like links to instagram pages facebook pages that have been really helpful with a bunch of like research and info i will leave all of that down below so you guys can do all of that reading yourselves i will also have any links down below to any products that i love i use for my daughter's baby leg weaning journey so all of that will be found down below in the description so the meals that i'm going to share in today's video are really really simple anybody can make them i'm pretty sure you have most of these ingredients in your pantry in your fridge so really simple easy meals which is right up my alley because i do have three kids so i don't have a lot of time to be spending in the kitchen so easy meals are my go-to so with all of that being said let's go ahead and jump into some meals so for this first meal, all you're going to need is eggs, one banana, and some Cheerios. For the eggs, I'm going to scramble them and add a splash of milk. There's actually a misconception about milk. It's totally fine to add milk to your recipes. You just shouldn't give your baby a cup of milk because their main source of nutrition for their first year should still be either breast milk or formula. For the banana, I'm going to use the wavy cutter. It's a great tool to cut up slippery foods to make them easier to grasp for your baby. So once the banana is completely peeled, I'm going to use that wavy cutter to cut it. So I'm going to cut it in half. Then I'm going to take one of the halves, cut that in half. And then I'm going to take those halves and cut them one more time in half. And again, that wave is really going to help your baby be able to grasp the banana since it is a slippery food. And if you're ever in doubt when you're cutting your baby's food, finger length and width strips is a good way to go. So to complete this meal, I'm going to give Jade some Cheerios. You just want to make sure you aren't giving your baby the honey ones. No honey whatsoever for your baby for their first year. And that's it for this meal. Super quick and easy. One of my go-tos for breakfast and Jade usually scarfs it down. And this was actually Jade's first time using a utensil. So she was very interested in it rather than eating today. So it took her a little while to warm up to her food. But once she realized that there was some yummy things on her plate, she started chowing down. also gets some water with her meals that way it can help her wash down all of the food she's eating so here's what Jade's plate looks like it's the aftermath you did so good took a little while as you could see in the beginning she was kind of just like playing with it not really touching it at all but I kind of just give her some time to warm up to it especially if I give her a new food she's a little hesitant at first but once she gets it in her hand then she really starts to try it so she did really good 
Cheerios seem to be a favorite of hers and I love to give that to her. That way she can practice like her pincer grasp. So that's definitely a favorite. It's really simple too. Don't even have to think about it. Just put it on her plate. Are you done? So I'm gonna go ahead and take her out because she's starting to get a little fussy and I don't ever want to leave her in her high chair whenever she's like oh. upset or she's like cranky, tired, because I don't want her to get like any negative feelings about oh. meal time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her out. I'm going to just wipe her down with some water wipes. I'm not gonna give her a bath because she's not too messy and she's going to be eating another meal today. So that's breakfast. For this meal, you'll need bread. I typically use whole wheat, one avocado, a banana, and some flax seeds for extra fat and fiber. So I'm going to cut up the avocado and mash up half of it into a bowl. I'm not going to add any seasoning. Sometimes I'll add a little lemon juice, but that's about it. For the banana, again, I'm going to use my wavy cutter to get those finger length strips. I'm going to toast one slice of bread. You want to make sure it's well toasted so it doesn't get too mushy when your baby is eating it because it'll make it harder for them to swallow. Again, I'm going to cut it into strips. Then I'm going to spread a thin layer of avocado on top. Then I'm going to sprinkle some flax seeds on top of each avocado strip. I'm also going to roll each banana into that flax seed just so that way she has some more fat and fiber for this meal. And that's it, super simple. If you do try this one out, just make sure you skip flax seed for the next few meals since it is a natural laxative. cleaning up but here is the aftermath she did really good with this one it was a huge hit today this is the only stuff she has left over so she had these two banana slices and then she pretty much sucked all of the avocado off of this one so she did really good huge hit now Jade's favorite dinner. You'll need some Brussels sprouts, rice, I like jasmine, one avocado, and some salmon. First, I'm going to wash all of my rice and then just place it into my rice cooker with the appropriate amount of water. I don't usually add any seasonings to my rice because I like to mix it in with my food. So for my salmon, I'm going to place it on top of a foil lined baking sheet. Then I'm going to slice up one lemon into some slices and then the other one I'm gonna just cut it on half because I'm gonna use that to squeeze on top of my salmon. For seasonings I'm going to just do a generous amount of chili powder 
With baby lead weaning, you really want to avoid or limit your baby's salt intake. So I usually just avoid it altogether and we do add it individually to our meals at the table. So on top of the salmon along with that chili powder, I'm going to add a generous amount of olive oil and then I'm going to rub that all in. Then I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and place all of my lemon slices and that is pretty much it for my salmon. It's going to go into the oven at 450 for about 15 minutes. For Brussels sprouts, super easy. I'm going to just steam them right in this bag for a few minutes in the microwave. Once done, I'm going to separate a few for Jade, that way I can season the rest of them. So again, I'm going to cut these into finger length strips. So I'm going to cut each Brussels sprout in half, and then I'm going to cut those halves in half again. For the avocado, I'm going to just take off all of the skin. I'm going to use that wavy cutter again to cut it into strips. And by the time all of this was done, so was the rice. So that is it for this meal. Really simple, hands down, Jade's favorite. She always scarfs all of it down. Brussels sprouts, avocado, salmon, and rice. The rice in the offer? No. I served her first so that way it would cool down. And I stuck some of it in the fridge too. Dummy. I don't think she likes it feeling out the rice. Daddy, why is this thing? <laughs> Brussels sprouts. You like them? Nope, This is the aftermath of dinner, but she's getting a bath tonight, so that way she doesn't go to bed smelling like Brussels sprouts and salmon. For this meal, you'll need grapes, yogurt, flax seeds, or chia seeds, and broccoli bites. So this meal is perfect when you're in a pinch, you don't know what you want to cook, maybe you don't want to cook, you're low on groceries, or maybe you're eating takeout and you don't want your baby to eat that. So I found these at Aldi's, but I've seen them at other stores such as Albertsons. I also love their sweet potato bites that I have here to show you. So to cook them, super simple. All you need to do is heat them up. So I'm going to just pop them in the air fryer for about six minutes. While those are cooking, I'm going to cut my grapes using a grape cutter. Guys, game changer. Cutting grapes is so important and this just saves so much time. You absolutely need it. You just pop it in the little hole, push the thing down and your grapes come out perfect every single time. For yogurt, typically I use plain Greek yogurt since there's less sugar and it's thicker which is easier for a baby to eat with utensils. This is the one that I had on hand though so I'm going to just use it I mixed some flaxseed in it and then I just gave her two of those broccoli bites. 
And that is it for this meal. Another super quick, easy meal. No thought or effort went into this, but it's still really yummy, perfect for those days where you just do not want to cook or you're in a rut. I feel like I'm in those all of the time, so this meal is perfect for that. So here is the aftermath. This one was pretty messy. She seemed to really love the yogurt today. That was definitely a hit. She like licked her spoon completely clean all over. So that was definitely a hit. She didn't touch the grapes today at all. And a lot of the broccoli bites is in here, but she also got some really big bites in today so there was lots of gagging during this meal but she was able to work it out she got it down and then i just gave her some water to help her wash it down now let's make some pancakes so you'll need two bananas three eggs ground cinnamon and pure vanilla so once those bananas are peeled you want to mash them up in a bowl it's completely fine to have some lumps you want to mix in your eggs one teaspoon of vanilla and cinnamon to your liking. So in my heated pan, I just melted some butter and then I poured that mixture into the pan to make my pancakes. You can make them however big or small you like. And then I went ahead and cut those into finger length strips. For sides, I did a strawberry. I just quartered it and then I did some blueberries. You wanna make sure you smush your blueberries you can just do it with your fingers, that way they're not a choking hazard. Last meal is going to be quesadillas with mango as a side. So take your tortilla of choice, cheese of choice, put them together, heat that up in your pan. For the mango, do not take any tips from me. I cannot cut mango if my life depended on it, but you basically want those finger length strips that I keep saying in this video a million times. I'm also gonna take some Cheerios, crush them up. This works great if you have a food processor. So I'm going to take each mango strip, roll it into the crushed Cheerios to coat. This helps give the mango a texture. That way it's easier for your baby to grab because mango is very slippery. I'm also going to do some avocado as a side. I just had some leftover in my fridge from when I did avocado toast. For the quesadilla, you just want to cut it into strips and that is it for this meal.
I think she's about done. Yeah. She did pretty good. A lot of it fell in her bib, but that's okay. She still got some pretty good bites in there. As you guys saw, the quesadilla, she loves it. She like just sucks and sucks on it until a lot of it breaks into her mouth. Um, she didn't really care for the mango all that much. This was actually her first time having mangoes, so she did pretty good for her first time. She kind of gnawed on this one in her hand here. But I think it's like a texture thing because I don't know if you guys realize, but every time I first give her her plate, she always touches like the slimier foods first and then she kind of like looks at her hand weird so i think it's just a texture thing for her so it takes her a little time to warm up to the food but she did really good it was kind of messy but good job babe all right guys well that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed all of the meals that i shared with you guys really really simple let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this or if you have any other ideas for any baby lead weaning videos that you guys want to see make sure you guys check out the description because i'll have a bunch of info on baby lead weaning down there as well as links to all of the products that i love for my baby's baby lead weaning journey but anyways if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the moran family and make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time i upload and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.